Hello everyone, welcome for yet another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection Review. I now have in front of me issue 109, the Borg Queen's ship, or also known as the Nyman, the Borg Diamond, uh, seen in Star Trek Voyager, I believe in the episodes Dark Frontier Parts 1 and 2. And as you can see before me, I have a magazine and the ship, as is common. And so, uh, looking at it, I'll put it aside for a moment, and uh, let's get to the magazine. So you'll notice the extremely detailed imagery on the cover uh, with some basic information. It is, of course, affiliated by the Borg in operation in the late 2370s, uh, has transwarp propulsion, and its main weapons consist of projectiles, which I'm sure include photon, torpedoes, etc., etc., etc. Turn the page, the, the same layout, magazine-wise, and uh, of course, more information. It's operated by the Borg Collective. Uh, it was This ship was actually destroyed in 2375 in the Delta Quadrant. It has transwarp for warp drive or for propulsion. And of course, I'm sure it does have warp drive. And projectiles and tractor beams as its weaponry. Turn the page there. You got another image of the ship there, which I believe is the same thing as the one on the cover. And uh, a little bit of the Borg Collexus or Collective... Uh, Transwarp, not Transwarp, but I think the Unicomplex, that's it. The Borg Unicomplex. And some text about that. And more text and another repeat of the same image. And the uh, centerfold showing you where various components are, as well as trivia on the sides. And apparently in this episode, this two-part episode, uh, the Borg Queen was obsessed with trying to assimilate humanity, maybe because they never succeeded in their efforts. Turn the page there. Here's the design process of the Borg Queen ship. Mostly CG for the most part. And here's a section which I thought to be very interesting. Uh, the USS Voyager's journey home. Uh, this basically talks about the entire timeline of the seven years that it took Voyager to get back to Earth. Spoiler alert for those of you who haven't seen the series. Um, and basically this article outlines all the various attempts to get back sooner. Many of which succeeded, obviously. And more on that. And more on that. And finally, the on-screen appearance page, it's only appeared in Dark Frontiers Part 1 and 2 until it was ultimately destroyed. So yeah, that is the Borg Diamond ship, Borg Diamond, Borg Queen ship magazine. And looks like next month in November, I'll be getting the Springfield class, USS Chekhov. So that looks awesome and interesting. Looking forward to adding yet another Wolf 359 ship to the collection. And interestingly enough, uh, this month, having received the USS Awanhi, uh, the Cheyenne class, um, with the Borg Diamond ship, which is actually kind of interesting considering that it was a ship that fought against the Borg, and now here it is um, getting a Borg ship and a Starfleet ship uh, together. So that's kind of like a nice little touch there, I guess. So yeah, turning the page, the magazine concludes with a ship, a ship, a ship, or an image of the ship on the back. So that is the magazine, and now let's get to the model itself. So here it is. First thing you'll notice, the box is smaller than the average box that we get in the collection. Um, I believe the only the Borg ships have come in, uh, sh in boxes that are unusual. That is not, actually that is wrong. The Bajoran Solar Sailor came in an oversized box. Um, the Borg Tactical Cube came in a smaller box like this. The Borg Sphere came in a smaller box like this. And I believe the Sulaban cell ship came in a smaller box like this as well. Uh, so now let's get it out. And here is the model. I have to say that I'm impressed. A uh, lot of detail on this thing. Um, I guess it's kind of hard to tell which is which side is up and which side is down um, Obviously, it's this way or this way not this way 
Um, it looks awesome. Got your nice bore green and metallic black with some aging on it. Um, this is our, let's see, this is the third Borg ship in the collection now. If you discount the huge cube that we got at the beginning of the collection, which was a joke. But, and then we have the tactical cube, the Borg Sphere, and the uh, Borg Renegade ship from uh, Descent Part 1 and 2. And now this. Um, and it's a pretty awesome ship. Uh, I think this is probably the best of the Borg ships so far. Um, this one definitely has more metallic components. This is definitely more of a die cast thing. Uh, the main diamond, I guess you could say, is metal. And the rest, the rest of it is all plastic. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'm so glad to finally have the Borg diamond. I've wanted it since I first saw it on screen. And, of course, it comes with a stand. Uh -oh. That simply says, Borg Queen ship and a useless part number. So, in the stand, slides into place like that. And I believe the diamond just kind of, hmm. Rest in there. Oh, okay. It just kind of slits like that, which is pretty sturdy and cool. And uh, so, yeah, that is the Borg Diamond, the Borg Queen ship, seen in Star Trek Voyager episodes, Dark Frontier parts one and two. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. And if you uh, feel so inclined, please hit like and subscribe and share with your friends and family that be most appreciated and you have my sincere and heartfelt thanks and uh, if you're a fan of star trek voyager if you love the borg definitely pick this up if you could care less about the borg or voyager at all don't bother um i'm so glad to finally have it in the collection and once you get it you will see how awesome it is and i'm sure you will agree with me so yeah thanks so much for watching uh, until next time, live long and prosper, and be safe out there.